Oh, Boo Boo, do you have a friend? Huh? It's a big day, Shannon. You know why? <laughs> closet clean out. It's the mother spring 2023 closet clean out. <laughs> All right, I've employed the help of my friend Shannon. I have purpose. Okay. I've managed the situation. Everything's under control. So Shannon is my friend who you might recognize from such things as Lizzie's vlog, The Husband Reveal. And also Disneyland. And also such vlogs as 24 Hours in Disneyland. And Possible Engagement Reveal. Oh, and she's the woman whose engagement I revealed. Um, Shannon's gonna get my hand-me-downs, so she's here today to help me do that. I think she's wearing my hand-me-downs right now. <laughs> Look at you, is that your Shannon friend? I am. You're not getting this cap? But you're so cute. <laughs> um, how do you usually clean out your closets? Um, well, <laughs> do you not? <laughs> so I have like a couple different methods. Sorry, I just keep combing your boots. <laughs> I got it. Cause this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Icky, you're not <laughs> fighting for my life. Um. <laughs> Thank you so her. much. You're so Kiss her. <laughs> okay, this is what we're dealing yeah. with. I can no longer close the drawers, and the drawers are breaking, and obviously the the closet part is over, it's over stocked. So you could also- It's definitely not rolling. It is rolling. <laughs> oh, okay. You win, Shannon, you win. I think we're gonna do, like, does it spark joy? I think we're- we'll... Are you gonna Marie Kondo it? No, well, I can't afford to Marie Kondo it. Well, if we Marie Kondo it, then we have to take every single thing out. Oh, that's fine. Crazy. And put it on the bed. Are you serious? And then go through each item. No, that's wild. Really? <laughs> yeah, because then it helps you see like actually how many clothes you have. I can see. But <laughs> when it's on the bed, you see it better. I think <laughs> should I just go drawer for drawer and if I haven't worn it in the last year, you get it? That's usually a good... <laughs> okay. So this is going to seem crazy to you. And I know that these two sweaters are very similar. <laughs> those are those are the same sweater. <laughs> but they're very different. <laughs> and uh, like this one has a little V thing, I see. Yeah. And this one doesn't. No, it doesn't. You're right. You've so, noticed that. <laughs> so do you like the little V thing? Have you worn either one in the last year? I wore this one recently as like this week. Then get rid of the V one. Fine, you can have the V one. Only because there's mustard stains on it. Lucky me. <laughs> okay, so we're keeping that. Keeping this, I wear it all the time. See, <laughs> this is tricky. Because all the time I feel myself like wanting... Am I in the frame? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all the time I feel myself wanting like hoodies. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, girl, you have so many goddamn hoodies. Yeah, I have way too many hoodies. Too. And like, I obviously can't get rid of this because it's sentimental. No, you can't get rid of that. <laughs> like, what do I do if I don't have my bubs? Sh <laughs> <laughs> these, some of these I can't get rid of. <laughs> and it's like kind of a lot to have three sweaters that have your dog's do you face wear on it. Them a lot. I do. He's my dog. And then I have this free city sweater because it's like rich girl. It's giving rich, you it's know what I mean? It's city rich people? Mmm, you wouldn't know. I've been to an Air One, so I think I'd know. You can have this. <laughs> it's a crop top. Also, I don't wear this anymore because it looks off-white to me now. It, it is, yeah. Joe keeps trying to tell me, oh, I'm sure I've got a matching sock for this somewhere. Because I don't throw away any of my unmatching socks. And then here's, yeah. well, here's the other thing, like, I just have to admit that I'm just not going to wear some I feel like I should just give you the purple it's, fuck Say goodbye. Cause also like, I'm just not a purple sweater girl. I've never seen you in a purple sweater. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> Maybe keep the purple. <laughs> God damn it. Well, this is from my stand-up days. I used to do stand-up at the West Side Comedy Theater, so I'm gonna keep that. You guys ever find yourself masturbating and think, why am I fucking this loser? I was looking for this the other day. So I will keep that as well. <laughs> it's a t-shirt. <laughs> but have you worn it? I will wear it. <laughs> okay. That I know I will wear. Okay, that's great. We got rid of three things. Already I feel lighter. Do I need to be getting rid of more? Yeah, you need to be getting rid of more. Really? Yeah. What? How do I get rid of more? And still keep my wits about me. You don't. You can only get you can only do one. Whoa, that's heavy. Okay, let's do this drawer. So I do wear this a lot. I don't think I've ever seen you. Where wear are that. you filming? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're different sides of the frame. It's artistic, okay? 
one year I bought a bunch of clothes that I called directress clothes. <laughs> and one of them included like these turtlenecks. But truth be told, I've never worn these turtlenecks. It's time to say goodbye to the turtlenecks. Okay, we're getting rid of the turtlenecks I don't wear. Yay. I do wear this turtlenecks. What's going on over there? Are you eating the carpet, you little Oh, he's trying to figure out my kombucha. You can't have her kombucha! Icky. Icky. That is not for you. Bobo, chill. Jesus. I have these sort of like shell tank top mock neck things and I've had them for years. Mm -hmm. And I do wear them from time to time and I feel like they're age appropriate. I'm going through like a crisis because it's like being 33, like I can't, I feel like I have to dress 33. You can wear whatever you want. I know that that is also the truth, <laughs> but I'm not comfortable wearing something that I don't mentally identify as 33. Okay. Which is very complicated. Does this just happen with turning 33? I think so. Why, like because it's our Lord's birth? I don't think it has anything to do with the numbers 30 and three being near each other mm -hmm. or directly attached to each other. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like like I want to n not look like a child. Like to elevate your wardrobe. That is correct. I'll keep this black skirt. I've worn it two That's times. A, oh, I thought that was a shirt. No. You can have this black skirt though because it does not fit me. That's cute. It's really cute. I wore it in Vegas one time. You're welcome. Here's sort of a cutie top. Oh, that is a cutie top. And the back's a little open moment. Oh. So we'll keep her. Scandaloso. Hella scandy. I'm not sold on this. I say, if you're unsure. I don't think I've worn it in the last two years. Well, you should have started. I just threw it over there. I threw it over there. This, because I have worn it in the last two years. Important. Wait, last two, no, it's last one year. Shh. We should really be doing last six months. No, that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Because <laughs> I, that's crazy. I can't live like that. That's crazy that's wild the last six okay, months the last six not. months were winter <laughs> whose rule is that whose rule is that okay. that's insane we're you just throw away your winter clothes every year ready. stop we taking are. my stuff Shannon this is who I am we are already right, compromising with one year <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> we're definitely keeping those <laughs> what is that it is a romper okay so I got this shirt for my birthday last year mm-hmm and I really like it. Have you worn it in the last, since your birthday? I've worn it one time, but it's like, when am I gonna, when am I gonna wear it? I need the event. I'll let him out. It'll look good with that other skirt that I'm keeping. I'm keeping it. You're all out. Everybody's fired. Go join the picket line. I just sent my dogs to pick it with the WGA. Okay, so if we're gonna be honest, mm -hmm. I'm never gonna wear this. Nope. <laughs> you will though, right? It's very cute. It is, it looks really cute. Yeah. But it's like a tummy shirt and I'm like, well, actually, this would be really cute with what I have on right now. Let me prove it. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then this is like a fun, like, say you're like, hey, Lizzie, Jordan and I, it's Friday night. Yeah. Do you want to come to the Tiki Lounge? I'm like, when? there. <laughs> I'm there. Do you see? Tomorrow I'm gonna text you. <laughs> is it not cute though? But also, these cute. are really baggy right now. When have we ever gone to a tiki lounge? We've never gone, but if we did, I have the perfect outfit. <laughs> is that only for tiki lounge usage? Um, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> See, it's cute. It is cute, but are you gonna wear it? Yeah, dude. It's cute, it's sophisticated. You. It's like a brunch, like girls are like, let's go to brunch, and I'm like, let's go. When was the last time you went to brunch? Nobody invites top. me to brunch, and it's really up, to be honest. Never, what? We should go brunch. How many times have I asked you to hang you... bagels? <laughs> At least four times. On the fence, toss it. Really? Yeah. Really? Don't even think about it. Don't second guess yourself. No, I'll wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I've worn it probably four times since Joe bought it for me. When did Joe buy it for you? Five years ago. Okay. It's... No, my is mine! It's second. my precious! How do people clean out no. their clothes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if that okay, really hurt. You can either keep that, uh -huh. this top, or this top. You have to get rid of one. Why? Because you want to get rid of stuff. I look at this pile. I'm giving away everything I own. <laughs> this is such a small pile. <laughs> You've only done a drawer and a half, Shannon. I'm gonna put this right here. Is that a maybe pile? That's a maybe pile. <sighs> this is real stressful. Okay, a denim skirt. To be honest. I struggle with skirts, but I do feel like I need them. Yeah, I'm hard with skirts too. I don't think these fit me. They're a 27 four. No, you're getting these. It's a 27 four. Who could ever really say? I'm not a magician. Like a four and a 27? But then these 27 fours fit me. What is a 27 four? Hands off my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally never ever worn this. 
What is it? It's a skirt. I thought it was a dress. Should I give it to you or should I hold on to no, it? No, you've never worn it. Oh, <laughs> God damn, you're a real stickler, ain't ya? <laughs> Here's the top to that skirt I gave you. It's a two piece and this crisscross is in the front. Oh, cute. Yeah, really cute. I'm gonna have to have you show me how to do that. Um, you can have this too, you bitch. <laughs> it's cute. Is it a skirt? It's a satin skirt, yeah. Oh, it is cute. Here you go, Shannon. Don't say I ever did anything for you. So I had this mortifying moment on the podcast recently where I said, it's the end of the fourth quarter. I'm sorry, it's the end of the, sec the first quarter. Mm -hmm. April marks the end of the first quarter and it doesn't. No. The quarters are by three months. Yeah. And I didn't slow. know that until today when I read the comment section. <laughs> so learned something new today. Truth be told, I'm probably never gonna wear this. Put it in the pile. I don't want to. Put it in the maybe pile. Okay. It's a lot softer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soft lunch. <laughs> it's a soft toss. Okay, I'm putting this back in my sweater drawer. Because I do, I am like a sweater beaver. You know what I'm saying? Like you use sweaters to clog up river? Yeah. Wow, you've made out like a bandit. Look at your- You sound like, um, what's her name? Sarah Jessica Parker. No, Jennifer Coolidge. Oh. Uh, when you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Should I start pulling out the clothes oh. that I've just been stuffing in here? Yes. So this is going to be wild, but Wait, it's all I'm wild. I'm going to stop recording for a second because I want to drink the best my kombucha. Part. <laughs> drink your kombucha. I can only do it with, okay. okay. Drink it. Here. Slurp it now. Slurp it good. Slurp that bucho like you should. Can't do it if you're watching me. Do it. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Stop it. <laughs> look at her slurp it bucho. So Don't look at me. <laughs> so good. Yay. <gasps> slurp it bucci. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna drink my kombucha in peace. Okay, fine. So when I started running out of room for places to put things, I just started sneaking them in. <laughs> like skittles into the theater so we're just gonna pull them out one by one i feel like i have to keep this because joe gave it to me i, I don't want it but he just gave pile. it to me for christmas i just don't pile. need it i have pile. so many oversized sweaters okay <laughs> that i accidentally stole from set i was just cold and i just left in it <laughs> What is it? Just it's just like an old sweater? navy sweater. Like it's a generic old navy sweater. This I love. My Miss Nude Rodeo. It? It's Miss Nude no, Rodeo. You do wear that all the time. I wear this all the time. The problem with wearing this is old men like to come up to you and be like, I gotta ask. Cause it's like. That's like me in my wild sweater. Everyone yeah. goes, so are you? Are you wild? You ever done a nude rodeo? It's like, no, I've never done a nude rodeo. And guess what? You didn't have to ask. I think you need to identify the word have, look it up, and learn it. I'm going to keep this. That is exactly like the first sweater you pulled out. No, it is not. <laughs> it is just totally different. And I know that these two sweaters are very similar. Those are those are the same sweater, but they're very different. <laughs> this is faux cashmere. Keeping it. I've had it for years. I always wear it. I wear it every cold season. Okay. And here's Joe's Miss Nude Rodeo, rodeo version of the sweater that I have two. Get rid of one. No, one is Joe's. This is Joe's, so I'll just actually give it to him. He's never owned it. He's never owned it. <laughs> he, he's never owned it. I stole this. Toss it. No, it's Avery <laughs> Nation. It's my rich girl swag. I stole this oh, from Helen Hunt, Nation. and I don't even feel bad about it. Is Avery Nation a rich girl brand? <laughs> Yeah, of course it is. Oh, the brands. Well, I'm teaching you. I was working on a commercial and the production coordinator was wearing that exact same sweater and I wanted her to like me. So I wore my sweater the next day because I knew she'd say something. Yeah. And then when she did say something, I said, I know you have the same sweater. That's why I wore this today so no, that you, you would talk to me. And she's like, you're so funny. I was like, that's not a joke. And I got a lot of jobs out of it. So what did we learn, kids? <laughs> Be a weird stalker. <laughs> okay. And then during the pandemic, I had a little Menti B and got this pink sweatsuit and when I wear it I ask people to call me dumpster bunny <laughs> we'll put that in the maybe we'll put that in the maybe I think you should put that in the giveaway I think it's in the maybe I think it's in the maybe <laughs> these I can't throw away because they're my friend's dead dads okay so we're gonna keep those keep them. Ooh, this is for you super cute some socks I don't need those either <laughs> we'll put this in the straight to trash pile <laughs> landfill landfill what if we find my Crocs in here. So this is a Did great. Your Crocs? Yeah, I don't know where they are. <gasps> this is my fun sweater. Where when I'm feeling fun, and it was a lot less heated before, you know, all the riots. Yeah. And now it's a little more heated, but I still think it's fun. <laughs> it's like a dark fun. <laughs> it's like a dark fun. Oh, and that's the sip. Aww. Definitely not getting rid of that black hoodie. And then here's some more forsaken socks. 
Okay, we're getting into the shirts. I don't know where to put this stuff, so I still don't have an area that this fits. So that means I still have to get rid of more stuff, huh? Yeah. <gasps> Wow, wait, so here I just figured out. The goal is get rid of stuff until stuff fits. Is that the goal? We get rid of stuff until all the stuff fits? Oh, yes. Okay, let's well, do that. It's nice to have a goal. I mean, we could, like your sentimental sweaters that you don't really wear. Yeah. We could like stack them on top of each other up here, like moving the shoes. Uh-huh. Cute. I mean, I could get rid of some of those shoes too, honestly. I could get rid of both those shoes if I'm being real. Toss them. <gasps> I wish we had the same size foot. I know, what size foot are you? These are good Nine. shoes. I tried your, you, you gave me some really cute shoes and I tried them on and I would have to cut off my toes. Have you considered doing it? I honestly did because it, there was like one pair you gave me and I'm like, I really want this. Is. What are they? Jordan had to convince me it was not worth nice. shaving off skin. So sad. And then I have Vlogmas sweats. Those are cute. Have you worn them? Um, they're hand-me-downs from Ryland. I do wear them every cold season. Every season of coldness. Oh, ow. I'm gonna clean out my these drawers. You know, these drawers. Those drawers? Yeah. What are you doing? Liar. <laughs> okay, so I haven't worn this sweater in a hot minute. This nope. is just a regular t-shirt. Do you want to keep this regular t-shirt? Yeah. It's good to have basics, but I love these, you know? If put, you haven't worn them. Put them in the keeping! Okay, this is sad to say, but I don't think I'm keeping the Cheeto. <laughs> I've sad. never seen you wear the Cheeto sweatsuit. Yep. You think I should just get rid of it? I think you should. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> send you a picture of Jordan wearing it. I really hope to God that you do. Sentimental sweater. Oh no, I should wear this more often. My Chico State alumni. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got this for free because I said I would talk about it and I never talked about it because it was in a piece of suitcase that I lost in Colorado for three months. But this is Are from a- Are talking about it now? <laughs> yeah, this is from a brand called Small Town Weirdo and it's a small business and it's, uh, I got the Final Boy shirt because it's sick. Did you just go into the store? No, I, so he's in, the guy that does this brand- I do really like that shirt. It's sick. The guy who does that brand is- uh, this will match with the, yeah, here's another sweatsuit. You just walked out with three sweatsuits. I don't sweat that much. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> but you do live in a cold place during winter time. Sentimental? Yeah, and I wear this. That's a maybe because I wear it during Christmas. Christmas jammies. Do you have like a Christmas box of Christmas decorations? I just sort of stuff it all Sentimental? over the house. Sentimental? No, I wear that all the time. <laughs> this is giving away. Do you ever need this? Uh, I don't hunt. Me neither. <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You're welcome. And then these are jammies, and this is a sweater I'm keeping. <laughs> Slashback video is actually a really sick exhibit. My friend Rob bought me this shirt. Put okay, it in the pile. pile. <laughs> this is like to anyone who's watching this that loves me. Like, don't f buy me stuff because that's like it becomes a hoarding thing for me because I'm terrified you're gonna die one day. And I'm like, I can't wear the shirt they bought me now that they're dead. And it's like heavy. I also. F and hate cards. Don't send me a card. I can't throw away a card. I love cards. I can't throw away a card to oh, save my life because I'm like, what if they die one day? Weird, I have the same problem. Because when I lost my godmother Kissy, I don't have a single card, including the last card she wrote me, which was like a poem that everybody knows and she like signed and it's like, do not stand at my grave but weep. Oh. And fucking 15 years later, I'm still like, where's that card? Yeah, I have every card I've ever been given to. And now I hold on to, yeah, it's too much. No, it's way too much. I need to purge them. And then all those- But how do you purge them? them? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> wow. This place is just messy now. And I'm not this getting is, rid of anything, no, this, am I? This is an important step of cleaning up. What, the mess part? Yeah. Okay. So this I'm gonna dedicate- This, this is part of the shame. <laughs> Are you struggling to open that? <laughs> we just went through this drawer. Why is it so hard to open? <laughs> Do you, wait, look at that. I made that when I was 16 with my best friend. What's the stain? God knows, I had a heavy drinking problem. So my best friend and I made these. One day we're sitting around the fire and my best friend goes, I'm like the Livermore master of sucking dick. I swear to God, to this day that bitch is in my phone as the Livermore master. You did a really good job of shading these flowers. Thank you. Little dots in them? Yeah, it was a whole ass vibe. We'd get blackout drunk and wear them all summer. Why didn't you glitter the heart? Um, I think my glitter was literally orange. Like the stain? <laughs> What is that stain? What a devastating stain. <laughs> what? If I hadn't deleted my Facebook, I'm sure I have a million photos in that thing. Welcome to Shannon's vlog. Welcome to my vlog. Today we're cleaning out my friend Lizzie's closet. She's a mess. She's a mess. 
But I need to reiterate, I don't, I'm not a cleaning expert. I know, just, but it doesn't take an expert to know what's going to fit and what's not going to fit. I mean, it'll fit. It's just how do you want it to be presented to you? Oh, the way I've been presenting it is stacks of pancakes. No, you want more than that. No, there's no option for more than no, that. There is, Lizzie. There's so many more options we could get you, like little drawer organizers, and like like how I showed you earlier, we could organize like by color, so then you can see the light. But we don't have no, drawer it could organizers. Look so good, Lizzie. We can go to the container store. We can't. I'm going to the gym at five. These are cute. You could has. <laughs> They're in the has. You could has. I can has. Okay, Shannon, I would like to know. Thank first of all, thank you so much. Look at the beautiful closet. There's space on that rock. The f look at this pile of shit Shannon gets to pick through. The f she's so cute. Um, so what did you learn about me, Shannon? Um, I learned that you might be a mild hoarder, but it's okay. Let no, me keep that. I've thought about wearing it the past few days. Nope. <laughs> no, I just bought a necklace that'll look really cute with it. Nope, it's gone. No, I need that. No, I need that. Gone. No, honestly, I need that. No, I, I swear to God, I was thinking about wearing it for my birthday. No, no, Shannon, let me have it back. You <laughs> thief ass bitch. I really want this is it. It's part of the process. I hate the process. I would like to reflect on it like, yes, I feel lighter and better that I can fit stuff in my drawers, but it also feels like I still can't fit more in there and I'd like to get more. No, no, you want to fight that feeling. Why? Because we could still get rid of so much more. I'm taking a f***ing leotard back. Um, so you think I'm a hoarder? Yes. Okay. But not in a bad way. In like a cute way? In a very cute way. In like a quirky 90s rom-com yes. kind of way? Yes, in like... Leading lady. <laughs> wow, I can't believe my drawers are still f stuffed to the gills. What did you just put in there? Nothing. <laughs> so this is what Shannon's taking. I want all of it back right now. Does it ever feel better? No. Oh man, this is sad. I love my things. I think I have to keep the godmother shirt. It's the only shirt I have that calls me a godmother. You're not keeping it. I'm a godmother though. I need no, it. No, I'm no. I need it. <laughs> I need it. It's the only other thing I'm keeping. It's no, the only other thing you I'm already, keeping. No, you've already gotten one take back. Okay. And you kept everything from the What are you going to do with my godmother shirt? I need this. You don't I'll wear it. I know I'll wear it. You don't I'll wear it. I'll wear it. You have to send me five photos. Uh, okay, I'll wear it on Monday. Different times. I'll wear it on Monday. Uh, I'll wear it on Monday for the podcast. <laughs> Okay. On the podcast. Yeah, I'll wear it. I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> and then the unitard. Okay. I'll wear the unitard as soon as it's warm out. I'll wear it in Wanataka. What? Where are we going? Where are you going? Where's the cabin? What's a Wanataka? Where are we going? Kalela? Kalelak, like I said. Anyway. You have to drive through forks. So I hear that some people feel good about purging. I just don't. I don't feel right about it. Maybe after this, you know what I'll do? What? I'm gonna Google letting go things. Like the Frozen song? Let it go. Maybe, yeah, I'll watch Frozen after this. No, that's not the answer. I mean, I feel like I need therapy. I think the answer is I need <laughs> therapy, right? Because I'm clinging to things because I'm terrified of losing them, like people. Yeah, that makes sense. This is sad, Shannon. Or have we had a psychological breakthrough? A psychological breakthrough? I don't think so. I don't think revelations count as breakthroughs. If I'm just realizing that I hold on to things because I'm sad, is realizing a thing a, a breakthrough? I guess so. Acceptance of a problem is acknowledgement of a problem is the first step of dealing with a problem. That's true. Wow. So guys, looks like I learned something today. <laughs> I have problems letting go because I'm worried everyone's gonna die and I'm never gonna see him again. I mean, what? We all die eventually. <laughs> well. Usually I end these vlogs on a happy note, but I just started crying How and Shannon just reminded me I'm going to die one day. And so is she. <laughs> and so is Joe. And so is everyone I know. Oh We're all just going to die. And I'm just going to have to go to work theory by myself. But this has been really fun. And for those of you that are worried about me, I know why. I get it. I get why you're worried. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Shannon, you want to say bye? Bye! <laughs> you should stop rolling. This of me. I'm clearly fine. <laughs>